What's up guys, welcome back, I'm F and Hate It. Today I'm gonna to be jumping in Quest 3, I'm gonna be going through the Air Link, I'm gonna go through the virtual desktop, I'm also gonna link up in the cable, and I wanna see which one is the most resource demanding and which one is the best. Before we get started, today's sponsor is VR Cover. This is the first company ever to offer VR comfort and hygiene accessories, and they have been doing so since 2014. These are two multi-layered fabric VR covers. They're made from super soft anti-microbial fabric. This is pretty much for intense VR gaming. They absorb sweat well. Isn't that right, Loki? They're available in gray and red. The great thing about them is they can be washed quickly and easily. They have a thin foam lining for more comfortable experience on the Quest 3, and the ease of installation is great. It just goes right over the top of the Quest 3 facial interface. And if you use code F and hate it Q3, you get 10% off right now. The link is in the description. It's also gonna be pinned to the comments. This is my first accessory for my Quest 3 headset. We're gonna be jumping in AirLink first. This is the free software that comes with the Quest to link to your PC to do PC VR. You just gotta download the Oculus PC app. Actually, I think it is still Oculus. It's not even meta yet. You get back into your headset, you go to settings, you're gonna go to system, you're gonna go to Quest Link, and then you're gonna select Quest Link right here. From there, you can see it's on your quick settings. You can click right here and it's gonna search for your PC. Right here, use AirLink. We're gonna use the cable next, but we're gonna go with AirLink first. We're gonna enable that. You should see every PC that has that Oculus app on there. Select it and select pair. From there, you're gonna get a confirmation code. It should pop up on your PC. Just select confirm and we are paired. And now we launch. I'm recording native on the Quest 3. I'm gonna move over to recording on PC VR because it just looks a thousand times better. And I can honestly say this face guard right here here feels much better now that VR covers over it. So once we're in, you're gonna wanna hit this right here to minimize. You're gonna go to your desktop monitor, which I already have up. You're gonna wanna check out your devices right here on your Oculus app. Quest 3, we're gonna scroll down. We're gonna go right into the graphic preferences. I set this all up beforehand. They start you out on 72 hertz, get off of there. You're gonna want 90 hertz. Move over to 90 hertz. I have this set up for a 1.2. I don't go with my recommended. I like it a little more crisp. We used to have 120 hertz offered, but for some reason on Quest 3, they don't offer that. I'm okay with it because I never used 120 hertz. I always stayed with the 90 because I wanted my battery to last as long as possible. So I do have a 3090 in here. So I'm gonna keep this right here. You might wanna just go with what they recommend to start with and you can boost it up from there. If you had to adjust it, you're gonna have to reboot. This will reboot and come back into it. The same rules apply, you just back out, jump into your air link and then click on your computer to access it. So I'm using 41% of my GPU and that's just sitting here. I I haven't even started a game yet. I kind of expected a little more only because it has higher resolution and plus I did bump it up as well. So it does look like my settings carried over from the Quest 2. Again, you can find this in your C drive program, Oculus support, Oculus diagnostics is going to be the Oculus debug tool. Right here, these are my settings. If you want to use these, be my guest. This is just what I had running on the Quest 2. I will be messing around with this to see if I can get any more out of it. Like you see here, as soon as I jump into Half-Life Alex, I have low GPU detected. Yep. And it is running at 100%. This is the party, man. This is the party. What up with it? Hi. What's up, Sheldon Cooper? That little bump in extra resolution is making this suffer for sure. And it doesn't help that air link is dragging down 40% of a 3090, you know what I mean? But this, my God, does it look awesome. It looks so good. Huge increase over the, the Quest 2. Just the pancake lenses, the clarity, the higher resolution. Do I get, I wonder if I could do like actual finger tracking if I just like set the controllers down. That's something I'll have to test later. You can see right here that I don't have much latency and I don't know why that is a thing. That's that's not what the Quest 3 looks like, but whatever. It looks like a default thing. All right, so next I wanna move over to the virtual desktop and I wanna see how that one works. I wanna see if we get the low GPU setting as well or if it's as resource demanding as AirLink is. So if you've never used virtual desktop, you download it into your headset and then you have to download the client onto your PC. Now that we're in virtual desktop, you can see both monitors pressing the Y button right here, switch from one monitor to the other. It takes you through a little step-by-step -step thing of what to do, how you can look at things, yada yada, blah blah blah, all of your games over here, cool. But what we want to do is we want to make sure that we're not sucking down so many resources. Right now we're only using a 16. I'm gonna go and boost this. I want my streaming quality. I am not a godlike PC, I am an ultra though. Oof, I like that, ultra. We're gonna move over, look, we can go up to 120 right here. I'll be playing around with 120 later on in the future, but I'm just gonna go with what I'm familiar with and that's not broken on my rig right now. 
Gonna bump this up a little, not too much. Higher bitrate will increase image quality and latency. We don't want that, especially if we're playing a lot of first person shooters, which I love to play. All right, jumping in, you can see that I don't have the, uh, the low GPU warning here. And also, my overlay here shows that I'm running a steady 90 frames, and I'm going close to about a gig per second. Whenever you see this screen, this is what's recorded on the Quest 3. Most likely, it's not going to be as good as recording on PC. I mean, we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll be checking that out later for sure. I wonder if it's picking up the Guardian recording. I've been trying to figure out how to disable that. On Quest 2, I never had that issue. Task Manager, we are doing good. We are running at a 33% in Half-Life, and Virtual Desktop is not sucking down so much. It's still at a 15%. The fact that I didn't get a low GPU warning is great. I'm gonna move over to the cable link and I wanna see if that's any different. Definitely shout out to Kiwi Design for making such quality link cables. These are awesome. This is the 20 foot one. All right, now that I'm all plugged in over here, right next to my ghetto microphone rig. <laughs> From here, same rules apply. I'm gonna go to my Quest Link. However, I am going to disable AirLink right into the 3.0. Let's go. If you're good with cable management, this might be for you. And we can see we were just standing here with a cable in. That is it with 43%. I think this is why people were saying they wanted display ports on here. That way they could just use it as a display port without having to do all this other extra stuff. All the encoding and everything, it doesn't matter where it's going into a cable or not. Let's go ahead and jump into a game. Let's see if I get the low GPU warning from Half-Life Alex again. And there it is again, low GPU warning. Oh man, how with a 3090, damn. I'm gonna have to put two of them in there. Oh uh, yeah, I'd like uh, 48 gigabytes of DDR6. And I would like to say that this does look a little better than virtual desktop. And most likely it's because I do have it bumped up. I mean, everything runs smooth, even though it's sucking down. Said 100% GPU, right? Yeah. Yeah, 62% with Half-Life Alex and 40% running with uh, Oculus. Is this the new Tesla or something? What is this? This is disgusting, is it not? I'm already getting tangled up in the cable. This is why I cannot play corded. I would just break everything. I had a pulley system at some point and that didn't work out either. I just coiled myself up because I didn't know that I rotated left so many times. It shows that, you know, virtual desktop is probably the way to go if you're looking for saving GPU. And also you probably don't want to be going the method that I'm taking here. If you're going into devices and you're bumping up the resolution, most likely that is what's demanding in Half-Life Alex. I'm pretty sure in all of the other games, you're not gonna have that issue because most of the games are a little more optimized. This one is looking for that high fidelity graphics. So that's why it's gonna suck down every little drip of GPU that you have. You can see right here that I left it at 1.2. If I would have left it at one, things probably would have been a little less extreme on the GPU, but again, I had this at 100% on Quest 2. All of the other games that I played, I didn't have any issues on, so. I just think that it's crazy that it still uses the same amount of GPU with a cable. You would think that this would eliminate some of that. Let me know what choice you choose. Are you gonna be going AirLink? You're gonna be doing virtual desktop? Are you gonna be going cabled? I'm curious to see what everybody else is doing out there. And again, if you're enjoying your Quest 3, don't forget to drop it down in the comments. I've been loving my Quest 3. I'll see you guys next time for sure, and peace out till then.